Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. This is a video about uh, electricity mentioned in the Quran. You know, everything is mentioned in the Quran, honestly. <laughs> now, let us w watch together. Maybe I will not be able to make it in one video, so I, will, I might make it in two videos. Listen carefully and let us love together. Electricity. It is one of the greatest discoveries in the history of the world lights almost the entire world by means of bulbs. In fact, this great discovery was noted in verses of the Quran 14 centuries ago. Imagine, even this one, you will find it in the Quran. Where? Let us see. God is the light of the heavens and the earth. The metaphor of his light is that of a niche in which is a lamp the lamp inside a glass, the glass like a brilliant star lit from a blessed tree, an olive neither of the east nor of the west, its oil all but giving off light even if no fire touches it, light upon light. God guides to his light whoever he wills, and God makes metaphors for mankind, and God has knowledge of all things. This verse refers to something that emits light. It appears that this body miraculously refers to the light bulbs used almost everywhere on earth in the present day. You see how they try to fool you right away? They jump to the light of electricity when it's very clear the verse is talking about this light because we heard him talking about an olive oil light. It's a lamp in a niche and that niche have a lamp which is fuel used for is olive oil so what this one have to do with this one do this one work by olive oil amazing how they switch things upside down continue a bulb is a body which shines like a star and emits light inside glass and that is in full conformity with the description in the verse. The fact that the fuel used by this light emitting body belongs to neither east nor west. The fuel which is used in this light is, doesn't belong to east or north. Have you ever heard a stupid thing ever you can, you can believe in? What do you mean the, f the fuel doesn't belong to, uh, to, to north? No, it does. It does, because even your earth, even your earth, have a current of electricity, and that current belongs to south and north. This is what we call it magnetize. Magnetize is electricity, in case you don't know. So even the earth have that dimension. Now, how does a fuel don't have dimension? Maybe an indication that it has no... And notice in here, he said maybe. You know why they said maybe? Because if somebody came and exposed their lie, they would say, you know what, in our video we said maybe. You know? <laughs> it's a way to cover your ass. <laughs> Physical dimensions. Electricity, the fuel of the light bulb, indeed is not in material dimension but in absolutely false because everything have material dimension because electricity simply is the movement of the electron and the electron have dimension and actually even the current itself have dimension and we can show you that easy And just to make it short, we heard this guy, he's saying that, it, you know, that fuel of that electricity is not east, is not west. When everything in this earth, in the east and in the west have electricity, anything, the rocks have electricity, anything, anything, anything is exist have electricity. I'm not going to speak about that, let's hear the scientists speaking. Matter is anything that has weight or mass and takes up space. 
even though it might not be obvious to us, all matter around us contains electricity. In the Did you hear it? Everything. But we just heard this guy that this electricity is not east, is not west, is not north, is not, you know, <laughs> when this is false. This is extremely false. But you know what? It's a good way to fool others. This is what Islam is about. It's based in fooling you. If you are not smart enough, you are not educated, you watch a, a video like this, you will believe them. Form of positive and negative charge. Experimentation has since revealed that all objects are composed of extremely small building blocks known as atoms, and that these atoms are in turn composed of smaller components known as particles. The three fundamental particles comprising atoms are called protons, neutrons, and electrons. It is believed by many physicists that protons and neutrons may be composed of even smaller structures called quarks. You see, he's talking about smaller, which means there is a dimension. There is a dimension. Everything have dimension. Electron have dimension. Uh, uh, atoms have dimension. Protons have all of them. They have dimension. From where he got that electricity? Electricity don't don't have dimension. Amazing. Atoms are too small to be seen with a microscope. That you see, too small to be seen. You cannot see something does not have dimension. Even electron, you can see them. Even uh, 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 you know all of them. So how you can see something don't have dimension? This is false. Is visible light because atoms are smaller than the wavelength of visible light. But they have been photographed by using beams of even smaller electrons. This is a picture of atoms in a metal crystal. Even though each atom in a piece of material tends to hold together as a unit, there's actually a lot of empty space between the electrons and the... Anyway, I think this is enough. You see, there is a space, there is a lot of empty space between the electrons. This is a dimension. The electron itself have dimension. Everything have dimension. So from where he got what he's saying, no, nobody have an idea. And after all, the whole verse is not talking about anything except a light of a lamp who light by olive oil, olive tree oil. This olive tree oil by the miracles of Muslims, not Islam, became electricity. This is how full they are. And in here, before I finish, I want to remind people in here about things I said. The word star is not exist in the verse. It is kawkab, which means a planet. This is number one mistake. Secondly, if Allah is the same as electricity, or Allah is the same as a star, let us go with their lie. If Allah is the same as a shiny star, it means Allah is shrinking and getting smaller by time. Because a star simply goes smaller and die. If Allah the same as a star, it's mean Allah maybe in 1000 years from now is not exist or maybe he's already gone because the stars die and even our sun, the, the one we, we, we have for our energy, have an age and after thousands of years from now or maybe millions, I'm not sure, is going to die too. So Allah, if He is the same as a star, and He is the one, and th they are the one who is making Him like a star, it's mean Allah is not eternal. Because stars are not eternal. Star, they burn themselves. They burn themselves. They are not shiny by electricity. It's not electricity. It's a burning fuel. It's a burning gas. That gas is making them shiny and extremely hot. And by time, they will be out of a fuel and they will die. And maybe this is, ex you know, explain why your God Allah do not do any miracle. Maybe because he is dead, because he is the same as a dead star. And listen, I am not the one is making a spiritual verse in here about something physical. If the Muslims are saying to us, he, our God is a, is a shiny as a star, as a spiritual thing, I have no problem with it. But as you see, they are making it something physically exist. So it's not me who is making a spiritual word, physical word. It's them. When my Lord, he said to me, I am the light of the world, this is a spiritual. We will never say our Messiah is electricity, otherwise I will be a fool. Jesus is Lord, and Muslims are a bunch of fools. I mean.